Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about the vintage garments I've seen in the Sachi Gallery because they have an exhibition right now still going here in London and it's all about streetwear, street art, graffiti, all kind of street art. And so I actually didn't expect at all to see garments about it. Needless to say they are so cool and I wish I could just buy them to keep them for myself and act super cool in it whenever I want to wear them but yeah anyways I felt like you know what let me just make a video about the outfits I've seen I think it's all Adidas I'm not sure you still can go to this exhibition as it's still the 9th of May it's 25 pounds but it is so worth it honestly I did not expect it to be that good there are also I don't know how many floors and I, it felt like it was never ending but in a good way because every single room was just so interesting in a way or another and so different at the same time which I loved so much so I'm very very grateful to have gone there and I do not regret it a bit I hope I sold you this well enough let's go straight to the first item that I've seen I believe it's not Adidas at all actually this t-shirt is from 1983. The designer is Malcolm McLaren and Vivian Westwood. Okay, so not Adidas at all, but I remember taking a picture because I thought the t-shirt was so cool. I actually love this fuchsia pink color. Obviously what I like the most are the patterns of the fabric here. I think it's very ethnic in a way. I feel like there is some kind of African touch in those patterns on this t-shirt from far away at least like all those little details of symbols i would love to have it although i don't think this would fit me i feel like the black with this pink makes it very cold and i don't think it would fit my skin tone or it would just make me look super pale which i don't like i really wanted to add this t-shirt in the middle of those adidas items just because i felt like it deserved its place to bring this video this one piece that I adore. This is, as you can see, a vintage Adidas sweatshirt. And look how good this sweater still is. The quality is amazing. And I wish I could just buy this sweatshirt. I love it so much. I love all those lines going in different directions. The amount of colors, contrast with the colors of this very red warm and then this very colder blue here. I guess I really love love this vintage sweatshirt so much. It's actually written here, so Adidas Olympic Games 1908 London crew neck sweatshirt and then it's written circa mid 1980s. So my next favorite item I have seen here is this vest sweatshirt. For whatever reason, I didn't take a picture from the front of it. I don't know why, maybe I forgot. I don't remember, but you can see it here from the side and from the back. Again, I I feel like this is a very good piece too as much as the previous one because of the colors the all the lines going a little bit everywhere i feel like they've styled it so well with this hat and those fake braids laces here it's such a very cool and stylish combination i love the kind of patchworking with those different fabrics you can see on the other sleeve here this white black square fabric this here is written paris 19 82. I'm not sure if this is just a patch they've added there or if it's really from that time to be honest but it actually makes me think of a maybe a shirt that has been used for a Formula One kind of events because of the details here in the back as you can see yeah that might be it or not at all who knows I don't remember seeing an explanation about it there might have been one but I think I was so focused on the garments I didn't took the time to actually read everything I love this shirt too. It's so, so cool, so vintage, and I love that so much. Then we have this super cool sweatshirt again. Honestly, I, I don't, if I could just buy them all, I would, because I have no idea which one is better. I don't know, I just can't decide which one I would want more if I could choose at least one of them. But yeah, so this one again, I feel like it's really the combination of patterns and like the kind of patchwork 
and you can see in those clothes that that make the garments so much more interesting and cool attractive and just basically makes you want to buy them and have them all i wish they still did this kind of sweatshirts to be honest it would be so so nice i would buy them for sure again here as i said i really love everything about it and i like this yellow too i feel like it's very refreshing yellow especially with the contrast of this very very dark black and red here on the sleeves you will see i've took some quick videos of more of what you could see there as vintage clothing there were so many vintage adidas sneakers which i thought was very cool too and in this video here we can see another vintage outfit i like it but definitely not as much as the previous ones i've showed you probably because it's more simple and i feel like you can still find similar items today so i definitely like it because of the vintage touch but other than that i feel like it's not as special as the previous ones you can see the back of that first sweatshirt well the second sweatshirt i've showed you from the olympian games in london see how cool it is i mean all those lines that really cut every color every time then this very kind of cover or how could you call this like a poster a cover of whatever this is well i guess like london olympic games or something i should try to zoom in it to see then as you can see we have this beautiful vest and sweatshirts with the jamaican colors which i think is awesome too i love how warm those colors are especially with this black part of the vest which makes the colors pop off even more i feel like it makes those clothes even more vibrant if they just stand out even more then we have the coolest vest ever here let's talk first about how insane this vest is imagine if it was painted like by hand or something that would be just awesome there are so many details and i feel like i like what i like the most or again the colors popping off thanks to those very colder colors i love it so much too i also love the shape looks very warm and super comfy to wear which i love yeah i think i really just love all those details all those drawing details on this jacket it's very refined thought through and it's just so well done i don't want to talk too fast but i believe it's adidas too uh, although i don't see any logo on it or something but as it's right next to all the adidas garments i guess it is a adidas vest too then we have those two full outfits you can find in the gallery too i don't know which one i like better i love the sweatpants this model is wearing on the right so the black one with this very yellow turquoise and red color i think i like the combination so much probably because it's not the most common colors used in those kind of patch working and it's definitely so well done all those lines not even being symmetric is what i love the most too i actually really love everything that's like pretty much asymmetric in any kind of garments i think it makes garments just much more interesting and more sophisticated in a way also i feel like i put more value into it because i know how much more work it is when you're doing the patterns actually from the picture it looks like jeans not a biggest fan of the vest but probably just because it's more basic but i actually do love the sweatshirt so the really red sweatshirt with a um, black adidas logo for some reason i feel like it looks like velvet from far away because it looks so soft and comfy but i really like this contrast of this black and red and i feel like it's not the same as the black and red of the vest it doesn't give the same importance the same richness i would say maybe it's also because i prefer more color than the black black color just in general so maybe that's why then the outfit on the left i like it i feel like overall it's a very stylish outfit i love the sweatshirt i love the drawing of this sweatshirt here maybe i would say it has less colors popping off i guess it's maybe because of the gray denim dungarees so it maybe makes the whole outfit like colder but i don't feel like it makes the outfit less good either i love all those drawings and graffiti touches on those dungarees as well as on the sweatshirts i think it's very cool very streetwear obviously honestly i love everything about all those garments i've seen so far they're all nice definitely had their place in the gallery if you're still not convinced to go to this street art exhibition i'm 
I'm showing you here. One of the coolest rooms I've been in ever, to be honest. It was so nice. I loved the effects of it. It's just so different from everything I've ever seen so far. And then you have the full opposite of this one because of the amount of colors you can see here. Fluorescence colors. And this room was just so sick, like amazing. So, so cool. I definitely wanted to stay in it. There were just so many good vibes and there was, so, there was actually so much to see in it too that you would be spending there like so much time in it. But there are just so many details. Everything in this room was just so worth paying attention to. Anyways, I really hope you liked this video. Again, as you can see, very different than the previous videos I've done with the outfits reviews or outfits rating from Blackpink videos as they're always so stylish and also so streetwear too. If you are interested in any kind of streetwear garments, you can definitely see the previous videos I've made so far. I hope you liked this video. I hope you felt it was entertaining and interesting to watch. As I said, there is so, so much more to see in this gallery. So I definitely recommend trying to go there too. If you have a chance, just do it. It's worth it. It's still there till the 9th of May, 2023. Remember to give it a like, comment below what your thoughts are about those vintage garments, if you like them too, if you didn't. Everything you want to share, let it be known in the comments below. If you want to see more of my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And other than that, I hope to see you next week. Bye!